This video is part of a series of help videos on Amendment 2 of the 18th edition of the Wiring Regulations. This series of videos will help you to study for the exam and improve your chances of passing enormously by showing you how to use the book, how to read the question and extract the keywords from it. And equally, if you've already passed the exam but are a little rusty, then they will help you to brush up on your knowledge and maybe even give you some new learning. So let's show you how to find an exam answer by following a logical method that does this quickly and easily. We can begin by understanding the numbering system used in the book as the index does not use page numbers. Look at page 3 of the book, the main contents page. There are 8 parts to the book plus an appendices section and understanding this layout is key to finding exam answers quickly. This is our go-to page. If we take part 5 for example, we know that within part 5 are several chapters. And taking chapter 53, the third chapter, as an example, this is further split into several regulations. And these regulations will be further divided into sub-regulations and so on. So how are we going to find the answer to an exam question or even an on-site workday question in all the 600 pages of the wiring regulations? Here is an example of how a regulation number is built up in part 4 of the regulations. Let's find this regulation. It is in part 4, in the first chapter of part 4 and the third section. Now find the third regulation and the fourth sub-regulation. This will be written as 413.3.4. Pause the video and find this regulation for yourself. You should be on page 77 of the book and the regulation will tell you that Flexible cables shall be visible throughout any part of their length that is liable to mechanical damage. Now we can find a regulation. Let's look at finding the answers to exam questions. You need to know that, as well as the main contents page on page 3, there are also contents pages for each of the individual parts. And many chapters also have a contents page of their own as well. There is lots of help in the book if we only know how to use it. So how do we access this information? This is very relevant, so please follow the next few slides. I want you to imagine that you're going to a wedding or a really important interview. You want a nice tie so that you look your best. What do you do? You head to the department store, but heck, there's 10 floors of merchandise. Where are you going to start? You enter the department store and there in front of you is a huge board with all the departments listed. This is just like the contents page in the book. You scan down the departments, you find that men's clothing is on floor 5F and you jump on the nearest escalator. Arriving on floor 5F, menswear, you scan the floor plan for shirts. This floor plan is the same as the chapter contents page. Head over to the shirt section and there is a whole display full of ties. How easy is that? In through the door, check the floor number, jump on an escalator, find the right floor, find the shirt section and find a tie. So let's apply the same logic to answering an exam question. This is typical of the 18th edition exam questions and our question is in a protected escape route from fire only cables that meet what minimum light transmittance may be installed. It's a multiple choice exam so the four options are 20%, 40%, 60% or 80%. Where do you even begin? Fortunately, the exam question will always, always give you enough clues to find the answer. Look at the question again. What are the key words in the question? It's a question about cables. It mentions protected escape routes and it asks about light transmittance in a fire. We now have some key words. Cables protected escape routes and fire. So let's take our three keywords and examine the main contents page of the regulations, page 3. Which part of the regs might they apply to? To me, protected escape routes and fire both indicate safety. So the question is about safety. Let's see, part 4, protection for safety. 
staying on the same page, look under the heading for part 4 and we can see chapter 42, thermal effects. Isn't fire to do with thermal effects? It is telling us to go to page 84. Turn to page 84 and we find at the top of the page a contents section for chapter 42. This has laid out the search information that is specific to chapter 42. Look at the page and regulation 422.2 clearly says protected escape routes. So turn now to regulation 422.2 which we will find on page 86. Somewhere on these next few pages is the answer. And find 422.2.1 on page 87 and there is your answer. Indent number 2 tells us it is a minimum of 60% light transmittance under certain test conditions. In the exam, we would tick answer C. So, in summary, what is the process? Pick out keywords in the question. Go to contents on page 3. Which part are the keywords about? Which chapter are the keywords about? Go to that chapter. On the chapter contents page, find a regulation about the keywords. Go to that regulation and find the keywords for the answer. The answer can be in words or in a table in those one or two pages. Try another question now. When selecting a protective earthing conductor, the minimum cross-sectional area can be calculated using which formula? And here are the four choices. Only one is correct. Look at the keywords here. Selecting, protective earthing conductor, minimum cross-sectional area, formula. Now go to page 3, the main contents, and chapter 5 says selection and erection of equipment. Just below is chapter 54, earthing arrangements and protective conductors. Go to page 197. On the opposite page, page 196, is a chapter contents page, find 543 protective conductors and below that is 543.1 cross-sectional areas. We can find regulation 543.1 on page 199 and then the sub-regulation 543.1.3 and there is the formula that we need. It's now a simple job of matching the four exam choices to the correct one in the book. It doesn't matter if you don't understand what the formula means. All you have to do is match like for like, tick the answer and move on to the next question. And there we have an easy introduction to finding the exam answers. We hope you enjoyed this video and now understand how to use the regs book a little better. There are more videos to come on each of the parts, along with many practice questions and solutions. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.